for this, our first fight of the night. You 15 and look, three, Henry Corrales, Andy Main with 12 wins, set to make his debut. Take a look, 5'11 is huge for a 145 pounder, and look at the reach advantage Andy Main has. He wants to use that against Henry Corrales. Official introductions, here is Michael C. Williams. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to NYCB Live Home of the Nassau Veterans Memorial Coliseum tonight, live on Paramount Network. Bellator MMA gets the action underway inside the cage. Three five-minute rounds in the featherweight division brought to you by Boost Mobile. Get the best value in national prepaid wireless. Easy to switch, easy to save. And now, first introducing the blue corner at 5'11", weighing in 145.6 pounds, making his Bellator debut. He enters with 12 professional victories, three defeats with one draw, fighting out of Rockaway, New Jersey, presenting Andy May. And across the cage, his adversary fighting out of the red corner at five foot eight, weighing in 146 pounds even as a professional. 15 victories, three losses, fighting out of La Mirada, California. Introducing Henry, okay, Corrales. And when the bell rings, the referee in charge of the action, Rob Hines. Rob Hines, our referee. Andy Main, a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, making his way from Jersey, fighting in the state of New York for the very first time. His opponent, Henry O.K. Corrales. Here we go! Tonight's Fight Clock brought to you by Miller Lite. Great taste and only 96 calories. Andy Main in the blue gloves, Henry Corrales in the red gloves. Andy Main always comes out southpaw. He will switch at times, but his southpaw stance, he fights very long. He keeps his opponent to the outside, picks his shots. He's got an outstanding ground game, though, Mike. And if this fight goes to the ground, he has a distinct advantage over Henry. Former Pancrase featherweight champion, five-time Pancrase veteran, and the only reason he didn't defend his title was because of a couple of knee surgeries, ton of experience, and a ton of great training over the years in New Jersey. Was out with some of Henzo Gracie's black belts like Jamie Cruz, the Miller brothers, Tiger Shulman's. I mean, this dude might be making his debut in the Bellator cage, but it is far from his debut in MMA. No, the one thing he's gained is the experience by going overseas, fighting in an organization like Pancrase. And I'm not saying anything bad about Pancrase. It's a great organization, especially in the lighter weights that he fought in. But they do try to set foreigners up. They'll switch opponents on them. They do things to screw with you, and he has already been through all of those situations, has dealt with them, and so he's a veteran of MMA. Owns his own gym, Pure MMA, in Rockaway, New Jersey. Don't forget, fans, join the conversation at hashtag Bellator208. First round of our first fight. Henry Corrales. Fighting out of the lab in Glendale, Arizona. His teammate, his mentor, his friend, Benson Henderson, will fight later tonight in our co-main event of the evening against Syed Awad. Big fight at 155. You can see Henry right now, is, he's trying to figure out that length, trying to figure out the distance, and he's missing a lot. Just a little bit, and that's what that length will do to you, but Henry will get it down. Henry is a tough striker who comes into bomb. He throws huge hooks, heavy right hand. He is a tough customer that you will not get rid of. He is going to be here for a fight. And you want to talk about thrown right into the fire. Opened with fights against Daniel Strauss, former champion. Emmanuel Sanchez about to fight for the title and the present champion Patricio Pitbull a fight in which he took on 13 days notice since that point John 3-0 including a dominant performance over Georgie Carhani and Henry Corrales pretty much shut him down for 15 minutes he did I've known Henry for a long time seen him when he was fighting in King of the Cage in different places he was undefeated at the time and had a ton of talent came to Bellator and they, look at they put him through murderer's row with the guys they put him against 
And I talked to him about it, he said, but he said, I'm no victim. He goes, my first three fights in Bellator gave me the chance to improve as a fighter. And that's the way I look at it. Those fights have changed me. And now that I have learned of what I didn't know in the past, I went to the lab, trained, started training and changing my training partners. Now that I have Benson Henderson, and I see what it takes to be that elite fighter. I am glad I had those three fights. He talked so much pre-fight about Benson and how Benson carries himself, how, how Benson trains, how Benson treats people, what he does away from the cage. And he's found a really good home and a great fit with John Crouch at the MMA lab. Uh, he's very happy about where he's at, and you, you're getting a little bit of noise coming out of the crowd. This is a, gonna be a technical fight. Both of these guys have great skills, and it's a matter of figuring out your opponent, figuring out where you can faint, where you can step, where you're gonna be able to land your shots, or if it's, you're gonna take a shot to get the fight to the ground. It takes time to figure out what your opponent is doing and where he's at. Glaze checking in, was with us last night for a great night inside the Mohegan Sun Arena. Jake Glazer ready to do his football tomorrow. But you know he's watching Fedor and Chael. Good flurry by Henry Corrales. Speaking of Fedor, Andy Main said, I would have never dreamed I would be on the same card as Fedor. Right now, he is getting tagged by Henry O.K. Corrales. Yeah, Henry's opening up. He's hit him with a couple of big shots. He's starting to change the complexion of the fight with those shots. Andy Main has to take his time control that distance, get back to what he was doing in the beginning. Morales looking for his fourth win. He just got tagged. Good start to our night, live on Paramount Network. All right, let's check in with Jen Brown, Josh Thompson, Frank Mir. They are manning the Miller Light fight desk. Thanks, Goldie. Hey, guys, all right, we've got our main event coming up, Fedor versus Chael. Real quick, Frank, what does Chael need to do to win? Chael needs to enforce his wrestling. Come in there, grind, push him against the cage, use the cage, get the takedowns, stay in half guard, side control, pose his will. Fedor just needs to keep his chin tucked. That's all he needs to do. If he can do that, he can take this fight anywhere he wants and win. He's the GOAT. He can win this fight anywhere he wants. I can't say that enough. All right, well, we can't wait to see it. That's coming up. That's our main event tonight. Hey, Goldie, back down to you guys. We're ready for this next round. I'm going to guess that, Josh, you're going to say it again throughout the night because he can't say it enough. Good inside leg kick by Henry Corrales. Landing that, that's going to slow down that, that length of main. Look at the right hand landing, solid right hand. Little bit heavier strikes from Henry Corrales wins him the round, in my opinion. Corrales left Southern California, but did not leave his coach, Eddie Cha, who is now one of the coaches at the lab in Glendale, Arizona. So he's still with Eddie, and he has added a lot of great coaching and talent to his arsenal, and it has paid off. Andy Main, winner of four of his last five fights, has never been stopped in his professional career. I love the fact that when Andy Main, he came into learning jujitsu from skateboarding and snowboarding, learns jujitsu, decides, I don't want an MMA fight. He goes to the amateur program, the first person the promoter puts him against. He says, oh, he's not that good. It's only Jimmy Rivera. <laughs> right? <laughs> Who's now one of his training partners. Exactly. Oh, nice left hand by Andy Main. But Henry's starting to walk through him. They're not affecting him, and that's the one thing is, Andy needs multiple shots to land on Henry to hurt Henry. Henry can actually land one and hurt Andy. He's got that kind of power. And that's exactly what you're talking about right there at the left, John. Yeah. So when it gets into this, Henry's looking saying, I will, I'll take one to give one because I believe that my shots are heavier than yours. Had the knockout of Cody Bollinger. One year ago at the Forum, which is where the heavyweight finals will be, by the way, as we turn the page to 2019. It'll be Bader, and either Chael or Fagel. Everything on the feet so far for the black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu since 2014. Andy Main, he's been willing to strike and trade. 
with Henry O.K. Corral. Corral is really working that inside right leg of Andy Maines. Maine trains with the Miller brothers a couple days a week. Don't forget, fans, download the all-new Bellator MMA Global app now and take Bellator wherever you go. Check out Paramount Network cards in the U.S. with no delay by authenticating with your TV provider. Plus, you can find tons of original yes, content, go, go. detailed Attention. fighter info, and the most updated schedule of forthcoming Bellator events available now on iOS and Android. Midway point of this three-round fight. Corrales in the red gloves, the newcomer Andy Main, the Jersey Kid in the blue gloves. And that's Dallas what able to get said. inside. When you land a beautiful trip like that, great technique, but you don't get a hold of your opponent's body, that's the problem. He pops, pops right back up, and all of that great technique goes right out the window. Of course, Coach John Crouch, longtime Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt. His mentor. And his leader, Benson Henderson, as well. Switching the stance a bit. Corrales goes southpaw. And hits the outside of the lead leg. You're going to see when Corrales is in his orthodox stance and he mains in southpaw, it's the guy that maintains that outside foot position. You see them start to battle. See Henry step outside? That way he can bring that right hand straight down the pipe and hit Maine, and it kind of takes away Maine's main power and his ability to strike back. Let's see what you did there. Maine's main. I like it. To the body. Henry seems extremely comfortable and composed with his striking and his attack here tonight. When, when Henry moves his feet and changes the angle, he's giving Andy Main problems. When he's standing directly in front of him, Andy's able to land that long, straight jab and pop Henry back. He needs to continue to move his feet if he wants to continue to be successful in this fight. Don't be flat-footed. Andy Main, one of the fighters on the Ultimate Fighter, season 12 at age 21, lost early. It was Team GSB versus Team Costume. Hasn't quite found his rhythm yet in this fight. Corrales has dictated this first 10 minutes. Both of them kind of open up there. That's what Henry wants. Henry wants this brawler's ball. Andy May does not want the brawler's attack. Tonight's corner cam is brought to you by Boost Mobile. Easy to switch, easy to save. about passing, don't think about jumping on his back, think about pending, okay? Booking that leg. We gotta right now treat this like it's a must win round, all right? Hey, Henry, he's got the one takedown scored for him. They're gonna try to do more because he hasn't done anything else, you hear me? I need you to wrestle hard initially. You're gonna make that initial defense your, your fucking hardest thing. Take a look here, nice inside leg kick. That leg kick has been landing, but a good counter punch by Andy Main. That's the trip. That was a beautiful thing, but didn't have him. that underhook so he could control the body. Henry comes right out, right back to his feet. Henry Corrales up to love. I have Henry Corrales up to love. They're close rounds, and it's possible the judges are looking the other way, but I have Henry up. You heard the corner say, Pretend or feel like there is an urgency to win this round. Which you should do for every round, by the way. Both fighters should look at it. Yeah, I think that would be, you know, somewhat obvious. But again, to your point, John, not sure how it is being scored thus far because it has been back and forth. One of the things, if, you, if you're a coach in the corner and you're noticing, if you're in Henry's corner, you've got to notice that when Henry comes forward, Andy, Andy starts to have a little bit more trouble. When Andy's able to walk forward, he's more successful with that jab and keeping Henry at his distance. 
Seventh Bellator fight for Henry Corrales, second straight on the main card as we get things started here. And the former champion checking in. Looking forward to watching tonight. We cannot wait for the rematch against Brent Primus, December 14th in Hawaii. Iron Mike Chen. That little combo, that hurt Andy, man. That's why you saw Andy do a little circle out, get a little distance. He wants to clear the cobwebs out just a little bit. This is the time, there again is that inside leg kick. That's the time that Henry Crowell should start pushing that pace. All three off. professional losses for Andy Main have been by decision. Just over three and a half remaining in this fight. Henry's last two fights have gone the distance. Both victories over Noed Lahat and the aforementioned Georgi Carvani. You can see that inside that right leg on Eddie Main, it is beat up. And he's starting to take a funny step. That's because he kind of can't feel that leg a little bit. See that little step there is a little off. That's all from the damage that Henry Corrales has created through that leg kick. There it is and again. again. And somehow, these fighters have the ability to hit that same exact oh, Speaking of hit, he's hurt. Big shot. Hit is all over. Henry Corrales finishes Andy May. Make it four straight for Henry O.K. Corrales. Take a look at this shot. Left hand, bow, right on the button. Drops Andy Main down, and you can see that Andy is stunned. Cannot get his body to move. His brain's not connected. That left hand snapping the head around. Big shot, kind of frozen. Hits the body, goes after him. Andy just starts to cover. No defense, he's hurt. Take a look at this at real speed. Right hand misses, left hook, boom! Big shot. Nothing Andy May could do. He cannot control his body to defend himself at that time. Sixth career win by knockout for Henry Corrales. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage, it comes to an end officially. Two minutes, eight seconds into round number three. The winner by knockout, Henry O.K. Corrales. Third round finish for Henry Corrales, fourth straight victory. Big John McCarthy will talk to OK. What's up, stud? You got your teeth in. What's up with that? My quarterman didn't forget him in the back. I am here with your winner, Henry OK Corrales. Henry, that was a tough fight against a very tough and talented fighter that came out of the Pancrase organization. Stepped in here against you. Long, difficult to deal with. What was it like fighting Andy May? Well, I prepared really hard for this fight. I was ready to get out there and finish him in the first round, but he had other plans. He's super tough, dude. He had a super strong poker face the whole time. I couldn't get inside, and he made me really fucking earn my two checks tonight, that's for sure. Let's talk about that knockout shot. You missed that right hand, but that left hook came over the top and hit him flush. Take a look up there on the screen. That left hook landed square. He was stunned. You went after him, ended the fight with a couple of shots. This is your fourth win in a row. How are you feeling now in the Bellator cage? Yeah, that's Eddie Chaw's bread and brother. He teaches that to all our, all our guys. Um, yeah, that's four straight now since joining the new family, the MMA Lab in Phoenix, Arizona with Coach Crouch. Me and Chaw made the move out there in the desert from Southern California. And, you know, at the moment, I'm just operating on a different frequency, and uh, I'm coming after all these other feather featherweights, that's for sure. How much of a difference has the MMA Lab with John Crouch made in your career right now? That's 4-0 since I joined him, and you know we're gonna get we're gonna bring the belt back to that place. That's for sure. Well, I cannot wait to see you in this Bellator cage again. Congratulations on an impressive knockout victory against a great fighter, ladies and gentlemen, Henry O.K. Corrales.